Darren O has officially made the prehistoric owl core available to the public. The core is still in beta, so expect there to be issues, but even with the issues, it is fully playable. You can obtain the core from GitHub. A track 17 also posted that there should be an update for analog CRT users soon and announced that Snow Bros 2 will release this week along with an update to Truxton 2. Perco has officially released the Chameleon core and you can now update your mister to obtain it. Now he is working on another core for Nichibutsu's Cosmic Police Galavan. This is a game where you take control of the last remaining member of the Cosmo Police. You start off with just punches and kicks, but can gather equipment to arm you with a robotic suit and a laser gun. Right now, the core is only being tested in simulation. Pierco so far has gotten the boot test screen showing that the text layer works, and then later showed off the title screen confirming foreground and background layers are working. Another portion of the PlayStation core is now cycle accurate. This time, it's the MIPS CPU write queue. What this means is that all registers like the GPU, timers, DMA, and MDEC are now accessed using the original PS1's timing, giving us a more accurate PlayStation Core. These tests are freely available, so if you want to try them out yourself, you can download them from GitHub. While these accuracy tests may not mean much to many users by looking at them, to quantify the importance of getting things accurate, Robert posted what games were affected. These timing fixes Help with Red Asphalt, Tom and Jerry, Guketuji Ichizoku 2, Next Tetris, GTA, Fera 2, Bato Shinden, Loaded, and Suiko Enbu. The Missile Command Core is now public. Just update your mister to obtain it. Right before the release, the developer had just finished analog joystick support, but as more people try out their analog controllers, there may be some more tweaking needed. Last week, the M72 core added the games Ninja Spirit and Image Fight. This week, we get even more games to test. The games added are Dragon Breed, Mr. Heli, and Legend of Hero Tomna. Dragon Breed is a unique shooter where you ride a dragon. There are also platforming sections where you dismount the dragon. Mr. Heli is a horizontal shooter, and Legend of Hero Tomna is an arcade platform game. You can try out these games now by downloading the cores from GitHub. Protego has given some updates regarding schematic extraction and some future cores. The Renegade schematics are completed, and now work on schematics for extermination and in Sector X will begin. A lot of other games share similar hardware to these two games. An FPGA core is scheduled for the end of September for the Z80 only games. If you've been following Mr. Retro Wolf's series of core development tutorials, you know that you will be working on creating a core for Namco's 1980s arcade game Tank Battalion. Well, Mr. Retro Wolf has officially released the core if you want to play the game on the Mr. Just run your update script to obtain it. I highly suggest his videos if you have any interest in core development or are just curious on how it's done. Another miscellaneous Mr. fixes and updates are The Rising Core has received several updates. High score table save was added for Baro Garega. PCM banking for Kingdom Grand Prix was fixed. All samples should now play properly in that game. Sprite priority shift mode was implemented for the GP9001 chip, which makes a boss character appear properly in Sorcerer Striker. A sound speed fix was implemented for Sorcerer Striker and Kingdom Grand Prix. Flip dip center image was added thanks to a track 17 and adjustments on sound for Sorcerer Striker and Kingdom Grand Prix were made. The PCXT core added set enable video and latch start A on Graphics Gremlin. There's Tandy slash PC Junior joystick support thanks to Flandango. Support for loading custom ROMs was added. The splash screen of contributors was updated. Many thanks to those contributors. MDA resolution problems were solved thanks to some high BIU was fixed, which makes PK Unzip work. This was thanks to Kitune Sun and Micro Core Labs. And a leftover scan problem in CGA mode was solved, thanks to Somhai. That's it for other updates. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Kofi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. 
Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And as possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.